58. 58. Yes, 58. Thank you. Over. Just sniffing around the house. This is where this is where Figsy I get a job, give Figsy a little job. We can do the little once over. Here we go, tripod, look at that. This is where the Figsy could uh, make make her little weight, little body count, pull her little weight, her little legs. Alright, it's a good one. I'm gonna to go to the airport now. I'm in Bangkok, near Nantaburity. This is this was old durian growing areas. Excuse me while I look around. And uh, we've, got a, we've got a clean wrap here. Nothing in the fridge, freezer. Took my EPO out. Yep, all good. I'm gonna ride the airport now. Give the check out this key. Oops, that's my recycling. That's my tripod. This is my electrics bag. Drones, everything electrical in there except for laptop. Close that up. And this is a setup. I've got some juice in there, some sugar, some carbs. Run here, got my wallet in there. Louis Vuitton, $80,000. Garmin lock, spare helmet, and I've got a new mirror. Pretty rad. It's actually stainless steel. Looks pretty good. Just good for like pacing people up the climbs. Bags, that's just clothing and some food. It, tidbits, EPO, and then uh, electrics. Let's go to the airport and get it done. And this is where I've been staying. Got this on a Goda. Actually, a Goda's pretty good. A Dota got. Goda.com, not sponsored. It's actually it's cheaper buying on uh, online, isn't it? You save a bit of money for your vegan stuff and your bikes. And uh, this is where I'm saying, let me just give you a quick drone shot. Really fucking tight. Settle down. Settle. Oh shit! Hang on, let me put this phone down. Let's see what's going on here. Your bike messenger. So I've got a first world problem. Love hate relationship with elevators. That one didn't like me. I'm gonna get out of here before it fucking gobbles me up. Okay, check it out. Out. Yes. Yeah, thanks. I really feel like I've forgotten something. I'm gonna get in that plane and go, fuck. But uh, Thailand's awesome like that. Even if I lose something, someone else can appreciate it. There's the 7 Eleven I went to the last night for dinner. 7 Eleven, they love vegans in Thailand. They fucking love you. Just, uh, just stop and notice this. This is this little bad boy here. This is Purse Lane. It's one of the highest sources of omega 3. Look it up, Purse Lane. It grows everywhere. I probably wouldn't eat that because. Something like Figsy's probably pissed there, but that's Purse Lane. Full Omega 3s and it's raw, it's real, it's free, it's wild, it's fucking everywhere. Even though I wasted it all just to watch you go. I kept everything inside and even though I tried, it all fell apart. What it meant to be will eventually be a memory of a time I tried so hard. Oh, mail, mail cup. Mail. Mail cup. Mail lot cup. Yeah. Okay. Let's take it again. Cup. Some sip. Cup. Okay. Lot do it again, go on, eh? I drink. That's okay. Matcha hook, Ali. Cup. Matcha hook, man. Got my own spoon. Save the plastic. This dude's a tripper, man. Like, how? <laughs> this dude's got the coolest job, like, pun intended. It's fucking hot out as fuck here. 
It's a cool breeze. It's got the icy cold coconuts. We're getting it done on the way to the airport. I don't know where the fuck the airport is. These are a little bit brown because they haven't been dipped. If the coconut's white, it's been dipped. Oh, fucking awesome. That's what they do it here. Drive through coconuts. See how it's brown? It hasn't been dipped. Pure organic. If your coconut is white on the outside, it's been dipped in a formaldehyde bleach. So this is unbleached coconut. Beautiful. This tastes so much better. Now I don't normally eat coconut flesh, but I'm trying to gain some weight. And this is, look how white that is. This is pure goodness. Pure goodness. Good bulking fruit. Good bulking fruit. This is cut it open for me. You can see how it's white. It's not pink or anything like that. If, it's, if you've got pink in your coconuts you get from Australia or the, you know, the formaldehyde stuff, it should be dead white. See, there's nothing, you know, there's no pink stuff in there. It should be white inside, but no pink or, you know, whatever. That's how it should look. All right, that's how it should look. This bit here, that's just from the knife. But, uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, okay. All right. Thanks, mate. You could tell that dude loved his job. Like, he, he said, I'll cut it open for us. And now, so I get no cut, cut. And he just, dude, fucking loved his job, man. That's what we need. Only do what you love doing, man. That dude, the big smile, it was legit, it wasn't fake. It, he's just chilling as fuck, man. Chilling as fuck. I know I'm, go I'm on the way to the airport. I just don't know how the fuck to get there. Hopefully the Garmin knows how to get there. Because I wouldn't have a fucking clue where I am. I know where I'm going. I just don't know how to get there. Did you fucking see those bananas, man? Bananas in prison. It's like a fucking cop truck. That's the banana fucking paddy wagon, bro. Straight out of fucking Parramatta, mate. Go go to fucking get a key off me, mate. Get a key. And we made it. We made it. So cheeky little climb the last little bit. It's like a little, uh, it's like a little Corberg. Thought, oh, fuck it. I'll do five hundred watts up it. It's good. Love riding to the airport. Just feel refreshed, relaxed, jump on that plane. Get some water to me, get some carbs into me, get some work done. Productivity, productivity. Keep the fitness gains maintained. Whoa. And I uh, just gotta find knock air. Where's knock air? Let's go do it. Let's go check it in. They're skinny in Thailand. They're fucking skinny. Rice eaters. Lots of rice. Oh, it's empty. Where's knock air? Uh, so they they got they just took me to take my bike to uh Another gate, so easy done. That's all you have to do. Would knock air. Just this is my carry on. Checked in the other one. Got my drone. Got my laptop in there. Passport. Paperwork. Let's get on this dab. So this is my carry on. Carry your helmet. So it's gonna get smashed. Got camel back for some water in there. Got my laptop. Do some work. Passport. Garmin. In case the pilot gets lost, I can go in the, in the cockpit and uh, give me some tips when there. So I basically. Uh, Getting there's a knock here. Whoa, this little dude's almost no, almost gave me a kneecap and I'm basically gonna go to uh, find some carbs, some snacks, got a 7-Eleven coming up on my uh, at 12 o'clock, 7-Eleven at 12 o'clock, check this out. So I'm not allowed to film in here, but uh, this is what I'm getting. The, uh, all, all these are vegan.
so they work for 10 bucks a day. Would you work for a dollar an hour at 7 Eleven? 50 hours a week for 50 bucks. Dollar an hour. Doing that same stuff again, again, again. And there's, they work hard and they're friendly as fuck and they give you always good service. But a dollar an hour, 10 hours a day for 10 bucks. Got some beans here. What I'll do is I'll put, put them both in one bag and I can have one bag for the scraps. This is the bean goodness. Yes, 58, thank you. Okay, thanks. So we're on the plane and uh, it's about one hour flight to Chiang Mai. I jump the bike, go get some carbs, dinner, done day, every day sort of action. We know you have a lot of choices in air travel here in Thailand. And on behalf of myself and the entire flight crew, Dream about this corridor last night. It was a big bowl of white rice and fucking sting corn at the end of it. But that ran out of soy sauce. I actually left my passport on the plane. Luckily, I recognised that, and uh, they got it for me. One of the benefits of being OCD is I know where everything is at every minute of the day. And if I don't, I find it, or I'll get the fucking hours test to find it for me. Pack my bike, get it ready, uh, put a bit of air in the tyres, then uh, ride home and get a bit of a uh, sleep time. Done day, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm going. Yep. Oh, it's a warm night tonight. Nice and warm tonight. Oh, beautiful Thai night. Shit's fucking as hot as Bangkok. Must have been a hot day in Chiang Mai. <laughs>